get away from here. It's a market. So I need to calm myself inside the vehicle. So um, very quickly, let me attend to these questions so that um, at least we would have an idea of what um, the exercise is about and um, the, what the answers are. All right. So we have seven sections in these um, sample questions. And I believe um, you can see now, I have I've shared the screen. All right. So you have the sample questions. So we have seven sections in it. So, so section one has um, eight questions. All right, so let's start. Now the question, um, the instruction is, from the uh, words numbered or lettered A to D, choose the word which has the same vowel as the one represented by the italicized letters. So um, the word F-R-I-E-N-D is given as a question and the um, letters I, E are italicized. I also ensure that uh, they actually in bold and typeface so that we can uh, pay attention to it. So that word is friend. Remember, we are talking about same vowel sound. So although the spelling is I, E, sound is E. So for this, um, the answer, so we have option A, feigned. Option B, feel. Option C, faint. Option D, fend. So the answer to that question is fend, fend, fend. So option D, that's the answer because of the vowel sound that you have in friend is E. Eh. So the option that goes with it is option D, fend. All right, number two in section one, we have M-O-N-D-A-Y. Now, naturally, a lot of us will call it Monday, but the reality is the sound there is E. If you check your notes, the screen that I shared with us and the materials, the slides that I shared, you would see that the D-A-Y in the days of the week is Monday. So it's not Monday. So the sound there is E sound, the short E sound. And um, if you check the options, A, pretty, option B, pride, option C, pray, option D, clay. So the answer to that question is actually option A, pretty, pretty. All right, so the third one, number three, people. E-O is the vowel there. So the sound there is E, the long E sound. So you have option A, pole, option B, fetus, option C, fuel, and option D, pen. So the answer to that question is actually option B, fetus, fetus. All right, so the next word actually is plat, plat, plat. It's not plate. Some people will say, I want to plate my hair. That's very wrong. Actually, it's plat. So if you see the options that you have there, you have plate, you have a plan, you have plane. So the answer to that question is actually option C, plan, plan, plat, plan. So you can see. All right, so the next word actually is um, cuff, cuff, cuff. So you have option A, laugh. You have option B, wasp. You have option C, could. And you have option D, should. So the answer to that question is actually option B, wasp. All right. So you have um, question number six. <laughs> so you have blood, blood. It's not blood. That's what Nigerians, that's our own way of calling it. It's actually wrong. It's blood. All right. So the answer to that question, so you have blue, book, camp, and court. So the answer to that question actually is camp. Option C, camp. All right. So you have the next one. You have saw. A-W is a vowel there. So all. So you have option A, so, you have option B, board. You have option C, weird, and you have option D, same. So the answer to that question is actually option B, board, or board. So the long all sound. Mm -hmm. so you have um, question number eight for section one. You have book, book, book. It's a short oot sound. So you have A, option A, foot. Option B, fool. Option C, fruit. And option D, group. So the answer to that question is actually option A, 
uh, which is foot, foot, foot. So that's it. And for those of us that are on Edmodo, and we actually submitted our answers on Edmodo, you would see I actually graded section by section. All right. So, and I give a total for, um, you know, for the overall um, assessment. All right. So, um, now we'll move to section two. So, the instruction in section two goes thus, that from the words numbered A to D, uh, choose the word which has the same consonant sound as the one represented by the italicized letter. So, here we are looking at consonant sound, consonant sound. So, you have number one in section two there. So, you have fun. So you have option A, ban, option B, tan, option C, phone, and option D, through. All right, so the answer to that question is actually option C, phone, 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 option C, phone. All right, so the next question is house, house, he, 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 house. So that's, um, you know, the italicized um, sound there. All right, so the yeah, option A, air. Option B, honor. Option C, R. And option D, hen. So the answer to that question is actually option D, hen. Others, actually, the H is silent in each of the options that you have, options A to C. In each of them, you have the H, you know, silent. And for the word that we have is house. So you pronounce the he sound there. All right. Number three, prophet. Prophet. All right. So you have option A, phoneme. Option B, price. Option C, hand. And option D, friend. So the answer to that question is actually A, um, which is, sorry, um, is actually B, price, 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 profit, P, P, P price. All right. Okay. Then um, you have letter, letter, letter. Um, that's uh, question number four, letter. Now, that is um, the sound that you have there. So, Option A, listen. Option B, win. Option C, belt. Option D, fail. So the answer to that question is actually option C, belt. Belt. Because you have t -t -t as the sound. All right. So you have a mana. 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 All right. In this case, um, ni, 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 ni sound. So you have option A, new. Option B, damn. Option C, sing. And option D, crew. So the answer to that question is actually option A, new 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 all right so you have about 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 so about b, b, b. so you have option a doubt option b abide option c lamb and option d shall so the answer to that question is actually abide b b abide abide all right then you have a uh, pet 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 that's question number seven pet all right so it has a sound. So you have A, washed. You have B, warned. C, pointed. And you have D, gained. So the answer to that question is actually option A, which is washed. I've told us about ED, past tense of uh, verbs. If um, the consonant before the ED is a voiceless consonant, then the sound will be t. -t, -t. All right. So you have the last um, number eight question in section two. You have rubbed, rubbed, rubbed. All right, rubbed. Now, um, d d rubbed. All right, so you have option A, rushed. Option C, option B, watched. Option C, slopped. And option D, gained. So the answer to that question is actually gained, 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 gained. All right, so that's option D. So we'll move to section number three, section number three. In section number three, we have uh, from the words letter A to D. Um, choose the word which rhymes with the one given. Rhyme. This one is rhyme. All right. So um, the word that we have there for question number one there is sign, sign, sign. Then you have option A, him. Option B, dine. Option C, resign. And option D, crime. So the answer to that question is actually dying, dying, which is option B. Now, you have the second one, number two, you have creed, creed, creed. So you have option A, breeze. Option B, seed. You have option C, breed. Then you have option D, speed. 
that question is very nice actually i know a lot of people you know uh you know confuse it but the answer to that question is actually breed creed breed it's uh you know a partial rhyme so breed breed all right so that's option c now number three question is coat. Is it, coat. Uh, is it okay is c breed breed c option c all right so you have coat that's number three coat, coat. section number four section number four now the instruction in section number four is from the words numbered a to d choose the word that has the correct primary stress so this one is um syllabic stress or the word stress all right so the word there the first word question number one is parochial parochial all right so option a parochial option b Parochial, option C, parochial, and option D, parochial. Now, so the answer to that question is actually parochial, parochial. So the stress is on row, parochial, and that's option B, parochial. All right. Now you have um, number two, personify, personify. It's not personify. So what you have, you have option A, personify option b personify option d personify and option d personify all right so the answer to that question is actually personify option b personify all right so question number three in section four is m e m o r a b l a so you have a memorable Option B, memorable. Option C, memorable. And option D, memorable. All right, so the answer to that question is actually memorable. Memorable. Option A, memorable. All right, so 
then you have the next word. That's no question number four. Um, what we call literature? All right, so you have option A, literature. And option B, literature. Option C, literature. And option D, literature. All right, so uh, the answer to that question is actually literature. Literature, the first time consonant. Literature, A, option A, literature. All right, so you have um, the next one, number five, electricity. So you have um, option A, electricity. City. Number option B, electricity. Option C, electricity. Electricity. And option D, electricity. All right. So the answer to that question is actually electricity. 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 All right. Option C um, is the correct answer to that question. All right. Then uh, question number six is um, fortunately. Fortunately. A. So you have option A, fortunately. Option B, fortunately. Option C, fortunately. And option D, fortunately. All right. So the answer to that question is actually fortunately. Fortunately. Option A, fortunately. Fortunately. It's just like, um, I remember if you understand, the root word is actually fortunate. Fortunate. So regardless of um, the uh, suffix ly, so um, uh, regardless of that, the implication of that, regardless of um, the suffix, when you add a suffix to such a word, li, it does not change um, the stress marker. So it's fortunate. So option A. Now, so the last word there, the question number seven in section number four is um, strategic. All right. So you have option A, strategic. Option B, strategic. Option, option C, strategic or Sean D strategic all right so the answer to that question is actually strategic strategic option B strategic option B strategic all right okay um, so in our section number Sir, five I get the answer to that fortune uh, it's option A, fortunately. So the stress is on the first syllable. For, for, fortunately. Fortunate. Because that's like, uh, for the word fortunate, fortunate, the stress is on for. So regardless of the addition of LY to for, unfortunately, the stress remains on the for. So the answer is still fortunately. For, option A, fortunate. All right. So um, we have section five. This one is also on um, stress, syllabic stress. Now you have from options lettered A to D, identify the word with a different stress pattern from others. All right, so you have A, program. B, husband. C, behind, and D, female. Now, if you check program, husband, female, all these three have their stress on the first syllable. The option C, behind, has a stress on the second syllable, behind. So, in that case, the answer to that question, because the one with a different stress marker, that's the instruction. So, the one with a um, stress pattern is behind, 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 behind. The stress on is on the hind. So, so that's option C. All right. So, so you have the next one, number two. You have um, alone. You have machine. You have unknown. And you have window. Now, if you check all these options, alone, machine, unknown, all of them have their stress marker on the second syllable, on the second syllable. So the option D is window, window, window. And that's option D, window, is the one that has its own stress marker on the first syllable, window. All right. So. 
Um, then you have um, the next one, number three. You have never. You have contain. You have nephew. You have hostel. Hostel. All right. So for all these four options, you have never on the uh, the stress is on the first level. Contain is on the second syllable. You have nephew is on the first syllable. I have hostel is on the first syllable. So the only one with the different stress pattern is contain because the stress marker is on the second syllable. All right. So you have the next word, addition, character, quantity, bachelor. Now, for all these ones, options B, C, and D, have their um, stress on the first syllable. Bachelor, quantity, character. It's not character, it's character. All right, so except for option A, which has the stress pattern on the second syllable, addition, addition. Remember, shun, uh, for shun, any word that has, uh, you know, it's a polysyllabic word. So. For shun, the stress will be on the syllable before the shun. Compulsion, you know, intonation. All right, so it's the same thing, addition. So it's on addition. So that's option A, is the one with the different um, stress marker. All right, so you have um, the next word, um, number, which is um, number five. So you have subscribe. So you have um, succeed. So you have parade. And you have ma, uh, marshal, sorry, no, marshal, sorry, marshal, they call marshal. All right, so subscribe, succeed, parade, then marshal. So you see, for all these other ones, uh, the stress is on the, uh, you know, the second syllable, while marshal has the stress on the first syllable. So it's the only one with a different stress pattern there. So the answer to that question uh, number five is option D, Marshall, Marshall. All right, then, um, so it's one of those uh, words that Nigerians we pronounce wrongly. We say Marshall, it's not Marshall, it's Marshall. All right, so the next word there you have recite, reckon, receive, response. Now, a lot of us will say response. That's wrong. It's actually response. Then receive, reckon, and recite. Now, if you check these four options, the one with a different stress pattern is reckon because the stress is on the first syllable, reckon. Others have their stress on the second syllable, recite, receive, response. All right? So um, let's take note of that. All right. Um, the next word is um, the next. Um, that's question number seven in that um, section, section number um, five. So you have um, guarantee. Um, you know, guarantee, excursion, expert, um, expertise. Then, saboteur, saboteur, saboteur. Expertise, excursion, guarantee. Now, if you check options A, C, and D, um, the stress patterns, uh, you know, are on the first syllable. The stress markers are on the first syllable, while excursion is on the second syllable. Remember again, shun. So, car is where the stress, um, you know, uh, marker is on the cursion, the syllable before the shun. So others, guarantee, first syllable, excursion, second syllable, expertise, first syllable, saboteur, first syllable. All right, so um, let's take note of that. Then the last um, one there, question number eight. So you have component, it's not component. I've told us before, it's component, dominate, dominate. Dominate, orchestra, legalize. So you have components, 
um, dominates orchestra legalize all right um legalize has a stress on the first syllable legalize legal is a distress on the first syllable so regardless of the ise that you add so it's still legalize so then you have um orchestra orchestra is on the first syllable is on the first syllable then you have um dominate 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 that's on the third syllable dominate is on the third syllable so you have um that's actually um, a mix of the um, they have components. Dominate no, the first. He said. Dominate. 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 It's not dominate. It's dominate. 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 So it's actually, the, the one here is actually even on the uh, third um, syllable. Is on the third slab. I'll check that particular question very well. Um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I'm, so, um, so components is actually components. Um, um, comp wait, components, components. Uh, myself, I'm just confused now where I am. All right. So, um, I'll check that. But um, I know that orchestra legalize. Um, those ones have their stress on the first syllable. So for dominate, actually has its own stress on the third syllable. So um, uh, where the issue actually is, is um, the um, component. So if it's component, then automatically our answer is actually dominate, dominate. So dominate, dominate. Um, I don't know. Um, it's actually dominate based on what I did. It's actually dominate. Um, components now is actually um, getting um, I, I, component or component. It's actually component. Component. So um, component, dominate, orchestra, legalize. All right. So dominate is actually the answer to that question. Option B. Option B. Option B. I'll confirm again too, um, but then I know for an answer, dominate actually has a stress marker on um, the third syllable. All right, um, let's move to section six. Section six. Um, we have from options letter A to D, choose the word that contains the sound represented by the given phonetic symbol. All right. So um, the first word there, um, the first let um, sound there actually is ooh, ooh, the long vowel sound, the long vowel sound. So you have option A, book. Option B, full. Option C, two. And option D, look. So the answer to that question is actually option C, two, two, T W O, two is actually a long vowel sound. Others are short U sound. All right. So the next um, sound, the number two, is E, E, the long E sound, E. So you have the option A there is key. That word is key, not quay, key. So you have kin. So you have option C, skin, and option D, fine. So the answer to that question is actually option A, key. Then, Number three there. Sir, sir. Is that? I've checked the dominate. Is dominate. Is dominate. Where did you check yes, from? Sir. The dictionary. dictionary. And the stress marker is on which word? On Whoa. which syllable? 
do okay oh so um that's yeah. actually wrong uh so uh, that's my own mistake then so it's actually components 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 so apologies for that components components all right so thank you very much all right okay um so you have key can can find so the answer is p option a now uh question number three is a a a a all right so that's the sound so you have shirt you have yearn yearn you have debt you have face so the answer to that question is actually option d face 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 all right face so you have a um, that's number four the sound is so you have option a castle it's not castle castle option b wand option c wound and option d wood uh, walked 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 so the answer to that question is actually option d walked others are um wand wound and castle 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 so you have walked so that's option d walked okay so number five is so you have option a no option b price option d case and option d sees sees all right so the answer to that question actually is case option c case case all right so you have um number six he 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 is the sound he so you have um option a honest option b a option c behind and option d ah ah so the answer to that question is actually option c behind 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 all right so um let's take note of that um then number seven the sound there is ye 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 sound it's not j is ye sound ye sound so you have option a joy option b jam option c die and option d yes 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 so the answer to that question is option d yes 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 all right so then the last one there in um section number six that's number eight the sound there is so you have option a cards option b fees option c feeds and option d feasts see for others apart from option d all others are z sound those s that you see there they all come with z sound cards fuse feeds and the last one is feast so the, since the sound is then the answer to that question is actually uh feast 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 now finally section number seven but i was quite surprised that many people for those that even attempted this questions a lot of some of us did not do this section i was wondering why is it that we didn't see it or what so section you have um it, it's actually it has to do with questions on emphatic stress emphatic stress the sentence stress or what we'll call the contrastive stress all right so from the options letter a to d choose the one to which the sentence is the appropriate answer all right so you have uday borrowed my book the emphasis is on borrowed borrowed my book all right so the option you have option a 
Did Ben borrow my book? Option B. Did Ude steal my book? Option C. Did Ude borrow my pen? And option D. Did Ude borrow my pencil? Now I have told us one of the um, you know principle I told us is check the emphasized word. It should not come in your option. Now the emphasized word is borrowed. So we need to know. So borrowed is the one carrying the emphatic stress. The emphasized word. So apologies, please, uh, for the cry of the baby in the background. My baby is actually with me in the car. Sorry for that. All right. So, um, so the answer to that question actually, so is um, option B. Did Ude steal my book? It is that kind of question. I said, no, he did not steal. He actually borrowed the book, my book. So he borrowed. He didn't steal. So the answer to that question is actually option B. Did Ude steal my book? All right. So question number two. Mr. Prosper bought an aircraft. The emphasis is on aircrafts. Aircrafts. All right. So for this, so you have option A, did Mr. Laz sell an aircraft? Option B, did Mr. Prosper sell an aircraft? Option C, did Mr. Prosper borrow an aircraft? And option D, did Mr. Prosper buy an engine boat? Now, if you use the rule that the emphasized word should not be in the option, then automatically the answer to this question is option D. Did Mr. Prosper buy an engine boat? So if you are asked that kind of question, and when you know that it is not actually engine boat, so you would want to emphasize what he actually bought. So the answer is, did Mr. Prosper buy an engine boat? You will respond, Mr. Prosper bought an aircraft. Aircraft is what he bought, not engine boat. All right. So... Then um, question number three in that section, which is the second to the last section, in, uh, um, question in all. Then you have, uh, you have the driver, the driver has taken John away. The driver, the driver has taken John away. The emphasis is on driver. So the question is, so you have the options. A, whom did the driver take away? So you have B, who took John away? C, what did the driver do? Then D, where did the driver take John? So the question is on personality. The driver has taken John away. So if you remove, if you put dash, right, the dash has taken John away, you will ask, who took John away? So the answer to that question is actually option B. Who took John away? Who took John away? Then the answer would now be the driver took John away. All right. So then finally, the last question there is Laraba's poems, Laraba's poems may win the first prize. Laraba's poem may win the first prize. So the emphasis is on may win the first prize. So you have option A, whose poems may win the first prize? That can be the answer because the question is not, uh, the emphasis is not on Laraba. So then you have, will Laraba's poem win the second prize? The emphasis is not on position, it's not on first. Now you have option C, will Amin's poem win the first prize? Now, if you say will I mean the question is not the emphasis is not on Laraba. About person, the person that cannot be questioned, the answer. So you have to win the first prize. So you are saying, well, it may, it may not because first Laba's poem. So then the answer will not be well. 
win the first prize? May win the first prize. So the answer to that question is actually option D, most Larabas poems, win the first prize. So all in all, you have 51 questions. So, is that? You're saying something? Oh, you know, the network is very I poor. I thought you were done. Yeah, uh, that is, I'm saying that is the final question. So, and that is uh, it. So, um, we all have an idea.